So to start off this guide, uh, I just want to say one of the things that prompted me to do it was that I had these questions uh, about Clutch and um, just it was a very basic, it was one question in particular and that was that when I watch like uh, the Mistro guys like Vanger and Razy play Clutch and they play him very effectively, one thing in particular stood out to me and I'd see that they would, when they were running around with Clutch, I'd see that they would land and that they would land and uh, they would be moving at 400 UPS or 450 UPS and I'm like wh how do they do that because I'm when I'm landing and running I always you can see on the movement meter here I'm always stuck at 350 and I'm like oh, okay if I strafe jump no that's not working uh, air dodge air dodge gets me going but then when I land I'm still running around at 350 so how how is it that these guys are like Quad landing spawned. and they're they're running around at 400 450 UPS like that's how do I do that so that was sort of the motivation uh, that got me like into clutch and made me search for the answers to uh, to the to the movement and the, the mechanics questions that I want to that I want to reveal in this guide um, what I do need to say though is that uh, if you've ever heard of this youtuber frothy he made a great guide on Scalebearer and some other champions in uh, for Quake Champions, and uh, I'm going to link to his guide to Scalebearer down below because actually, as it turns out, if you forget about Clutch's air dodge ability and you just want to uh, focus on his movement mechanics, uh, in particular his running, it's actually very similar to Scalebearer, actually uh, almost identical with uh, very few. Um, with very few differences. So uh, link to his guide down below. I would recommend watching it before you go any further with this one. Or if you already are familiar with Scale, Scale Bearer and how he moves around, um, continue watching. And I hope that you find this guide helpful. So the first thing to note about Clutch is that you'll notice in the bottom left corner right above the uh, champion icon and my health, you have this little like um, speedometer speed meter thing. So that is really um, crucial because that's, well, t it tells you um, it's a speed indicator, but even more so what it uh, clues you in on is your uh, running speed. Um, if a lot of people don't like to have the UPS numbers drawn below their crosshair because it's distracting, but the speed indicator is critical to, uh, to take note of because what actually happens is if you move around like scale bearer, now I'm only, well, let me enable my direction hints. So if I only hold forward and move around, you'll see that I start at 350. And then after a second, I charge up to 400. And now I'm at 450. And th this is Clutch's maximum run speed. He, can't, he cannot run any faster than this. And as soon as I hit a strafe button, I start back over at 350 and you'll notice as I get faster my speed meter climbs now it's maxed see so this was sort of like I'm like well okay so how do I if I'm if I push strafe jump if I push a strafe button you know and I lose my my extra 100 uh, UPS or ups as I call it um, hmm, how am I gonna how do I maintain that because 450 uh, UPS instead of 350 UPS is really useful, especially when um, you know Clutch's air dodge. He's he's really big. It's it's really easy to like hit walls, and it just he's really inefficient, especially maybe after a fight if you need to like restock very quickly and the map is is very tight and there's there's walls and you need to sort of like run between things. But he's so big, so you're gonna hit walls and just ugh. But the 450 UPS is actually very helpful because just like Scale Bearer, let me charge up here. So just like Scale Bearer, if you jump, I can just do this and he keeps, what's he doing here, come on. I dodge. I'm still at 450. And it doesn't matter which direction I'm running in. 
I'll still land. And just like Scale Bearer, I'll still be running at 450 uh, UPS. And the best part is, is that when you when you have his max run speed going, it adds to your dodge speed, uh, to the air dodge speed. So if I'm at 350 and I air dodge, it's going to add the extra 250 UPS to my air dodge uh, that that the air dodge gives. But I'm gonna so 350 plus 250, it's gonna it's gonna air dodge me at 700 UPS. But if I'm at 400 plus 250. It boosts me to 750 for my air dodge. And if I'm at 450 plus 250, it boosts me up to 800. So you're getting you're getting more not only out of your run speed, but you're getting more out of your out of your air dodge too. So now the question is like, okay, now I, I understand how to get the run speed up. And I understand the, the benefit of having his run speed of 450 because it also adds to the air dodge. Okay, that's cool. Uh, but how do I make use of it? How, how can I use that very effectively in a match to get around uh, and, and really uh, have it do the work for me? Because if you see, it's you have this one second delay but while it charges up. Now that takes a lot of time, right? Like to to just run. If if I spawn here, right? Okay, 350. Now I'm at 400. Okay, now we're going up to 450. That took like four or five seconds to go from 350 to 450. Are there any shortcuts for that? Hmm. There's got to be some shortcuts. Well, you're in luck because there are some shortcuts. So if I'm speaking for myself here and. Uh, how I got in the habit of moving around with Clutch. Now, I figured out early on that his movement is similar to Scale Bearer's and that if you just hold forward, you can get around just fine. And, you know, I'm already holding the uh, plus forward button, so it's not such a big deal to just double tap it and air dodge forward where I need to go, right? And that's pretty much how this, what I'm doing now is pretty much how I've been moving around with Clutch. Like, since f until very recently but if we're talking about getting him up to 450 ups and making good use of that well like i said below before there's this one second delay between when you get to 350 you have to wait a second then he charges up to the 400 ups then you wait another second and then it'll start charging up to the 450 ups one one thousand two one thousand and finally, we're up to 450. See these one second pauses? So you can get around that actually. And the way you can shortcut it is, is if you just have to get a feel for clutch and you can use stairs and ledges to shortcut this. And what I mean is, as soon as you get to 450 and the his speed meter is ready to go, as soon as it starts going to 351, 352 and charging up to 450, you can dodge. And you can, um, as soon as you um, land from the dodge, as soon as the dodge finishes, you will land at 400. So what you want is to come down and be on your feet as quickly as possible once it's ready to go to 400 from, four, from 350. So for example, okay, I'm gonna use the stair here. I'm at 350. I'm gonna time it right. I'm at 400, and now I'm at 450. And I didn't have to wait for the uh, for it to charge up from 350 to 400, or from 400 to 450. Now if I jump, stop watch. One second here. And I dodge right before I'm about to hit the ground. That's another way you can do it. But I like to use stairs and ledges. What I mean by ledges is, if I go over here, now I'll be running, I'm at 350, and I'm gonna dodge, and I'm not gonna jump. As soon as I come off this ledge, 
I'm going to dodge and hit the ground and I will... When I'm leaving the ledge, I'm leaving the ledge at 350. But when I come down and land here, I'm going to be at 400. Just like that. And you can shortcut it by using... Um, by using ledges and stairs. So basically, like I said, as soon as Clutch's movement speed is ready to charge from 350 to 400, you just want to come down and hit the and hit the ground running uh, as soon as possible. And the way you do that is not by dodging like this. It's jumping and dodging right when you hit the ground. So again. And I've just, I've basically cut the time in half that it took me before to go from 350 to 450. And now I've got max run speed and I've got max air dodge speed. Because if you're going, remember that if you're going faster than 450, you cannot air dodge. Right? So I hope this helps. Um... It's something that I'm practicing, and I'm getting used to. And obviously, uh, you know, you just want to get a feel for it, so you really don't even need to watch your speed meter. You just know, like, okay, it's been a second. Now I'm ready to go to 400, and now I'm ready to get to 450. Even those were bad dodges because I jumped too soon. You want to dodge right before you hit the ground. And it's really great to use stairs to do it because it's like an instant, it's like an instant land and you can just dodge. You don't have to wait to get um, through most of your jump before you dodge and come down. So stairs really shortcut this process and ledges also. Ledges take a little bit more practice. You got to have a little bit more map knowledge for that, but uh, I think you get the point. And yeah, if you just run around and practice it, I think it's really helpful. I know it helped me, and I hope it helps you. So now that I've given you some of the basics on the mechanics of Clutch's movement and how to um, achieve the maximum speed for his run and his air dodge, and how to do it quickly, um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, using his movement effectively. Now that you know how to get the most out of it, how can you use it most effectively? And uh, like I was just saying about charging up the uh, his run speed, um, when you a lot of people move around with clutch where they will dodge as soon as they jump. And I'm speaking for myself here. It's something that I did a lot, and it's actually I think it's a really bad habit to get into with clutch because you have no control with it. I mean. You, you're not going to be able to change your direction or do anything until you finish that air dodge and you, and you come down and you land. So what I think a better idea is or what a better, a better habit is to get into with Clutch is to practice dodging into the ground. For example, doing this and dodging right when you land and jumping off of it. Using the momentum of that dodge to continue strafe jumping as soon as you hit the ground. So for example, let me do what I was doing here. I'm gonna get up to 450. Quad spawn. And I'm gonna dodge as soon as I hit the ground and I get to keep my 450 run speed. And when you do this technique, think of it as you are air dodging into the ground. And you still get to land, and as long as you're only holding forward when you land, and you're not holding any strafe keys, you will maintain your 450 UPS movement speed. And if you move around like this, like I said, it's like... Dominate. If you air dodge the moment that you leave the ground, you you kind of lose a lot of control with clutch because you, you're you not going to be able to change direction or or really control the, the momentum 
of your of your movement until you until you um, come back down, and it's just a really inefficient way of moving around with clutch, and it makes him more vulnerable to getting shot. However, if you if you air dodge into the ground. And you just jump and you just continue uh, strafe jumping through it. It does give you more control. And not to mention, like I said before, you get to build up your speed meter this way. One other really cool thing about uh, Clutch is that you can use his ability to cancel. Um, and actually it can do two cancels. So if I activate his shield Incoming and then I that. activate the power drill... Before I activate the power drill, I can shoot with my rail, cancel the railgun reload into his power drill, and then once the railgun has reloaded, while the drill is firing, you can cancel that switch into another rail shot. So, here we go. Shoot, cancel, and turn it off and cancel right into another rail shot. Um, it, the execution, obviously, it takes a little practice because you have to... Activate the shields, take the rail shot, then immediately after you activate the drill, wait a second, deactivate the drill, and then take the second rail shot. So it, the execution, it takes a little bit of practice, but I mean, it's so much, so many opportunities for free damage. I think it's, I think it's worth it, right? Anyway, I hope this guide helps. Um, let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. There's probably more to Clutch, to be honest with you, that I that I haven't covered as far as his movement is concerned here. So I really would appreciate uh, your guys' feedback. And if you figure out anything else or you think I missed something, do let me know. Um, if it was helpful, give me a like or subscribe if you want to see more content. I'm always uploading sort of my match of the day videos. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it and I hope this helps. See you in the next one.